Welcome back to another episode of Mythology 101. Lesson for today, Chapter 2. Here are the objectives. This chapter aims to illustrate the line tangent at a given point on the graph. The derivative will be defined based on the concept of slope of a tangent line. It will compare to a secant line which cuts the graph at more than one point. The slopes of the line will be compared and analyzed. Now that we're all set, let's start. Basic concepts of derivatives. Lesson 1. Slope of a tangent line. This lesson aims to illustrate the line tangent at a given point in the graph. It will also be compared to a secant line which cuts the graph at more than one point. The derivative of this line will be compared and analyzed. The slopes will then be defined based on the tangent line. Example 1. Find the slope of the line tangent to f of x equals 5 minus 2x minus x squared at the point negative 3 and 2. How do we solve it? Here, x sub o and y sub o is equal to negative 3 and 2. Thus, x sub o is negative 3 and f of x sub o is equal to f of negative 3, which is equal to 2. First, we write the given and the formula for the line of the tangent. Next, we equate the given variables to the formula. We factor out and simplify next. And finally, we substitute the limit and get 4 as the final answer. Hence, the slope of the line tangent to f of x equals to 5 minus 2x minus x squared at the point negative 3 and 2 is 4. Got it? Great! Now try this. Find the equation of the line tangent to f of x equals square root of x plus 2 at the point negative 1 and 1. You can pause this video if you need more time to solve. Already done? Let's answer it together. Same process goes. First, we need to know the given values and substitute from the formula given x sub o as negative 1 and f, or x sub o is 1. Then after substitution, we conjugate the square root of x plus 2 minus 1 to the square root of x plus 2 plus 1 to its numerator and denominator, and then distribution and simplification. Lastly, we substitute the given limit and get 1 half as the final answer. Lesson 2. The slope of the tangent line and derivative of a function. Definition of a derivative in a function at a number x equals x sub o. The derivative of f prime of x sub o of a function f at a number x equals x sub o is the value obtained in the following limit. f prime of x sub o is equal to the limit as delta x approaches to 0 f of x sub o plus delta x minus f of x sub o over delta x. Definition of a derivative in a function. The derivative of f prime of x of a function f at a number x expression obtained in its domain is the following limit. f prime of x sub o is equal to the limit as delta x approaches to 0 f of x sub o plus delta x minus f of x sub o over delta x. This definition is sometimes called the limit definition of the derivative of a function. f prime of x, y equal to f of x, y, dy over dx, d over dx or f of x, dx, f of x, and df of x. The derivative of the slope of the tangent line at x equals to x sub o. y is equal to f of x, which is equal to dy over dx, which is equal to f prime of x. Slope is m equals delta y over delta x. Mt is equal to the limit as delta x approaches to 0, delta y over delta x. The previous chapter discussed the limit of a function, its properties, and the rules on its evaluation. This chapter covers differential calculuses and focuses on finding the derivative of a function. A connection between the limit and derivative of a function will be established and applications shall also be covered to further understand the concept of the derivative and its importance. Let's answer. Find the derivative of f of x equals 5x minus 1 with respect to x using the limit definition. Now remember that the formula for limit definition is f prime of x sub o is equal to the limit as delta x approaches to 0 f of x sub o plus delta x minus f of x sub o over delta x. 
Using that to apply the definition of the derivative for f of x equals 5x minus 1, we have limit of delta x to 0 f of x plus delta x minus f of x. Then substitute the x to x plus delta x and f of x to 5x minus 1. We have 5x plus delta x minus 1 minus 5x minus 1. Then distribute the given. After, then you can cancel out the positive and negative 1 and 5x. Then we left 5 delta x over delta x. Cancel delta x and we only have 5. Thus, the derivative of f of x is equal to 5x minus 1 is 5. Got it? Now you try. Evaluate f prime of 3 for the function f of x equals 1 over x. Again, you can pause the video if you need more time to solve. Finish? Let's take a look. Like in the previous example, we first determine the derivative of f with respect to x, then evaluate f prime of 3. Same process goes. We need to know the given values and substitute from the formula given f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. Then distribution and simplification. Cancel the x of the numerator, then cancel the delta x from the numerator so it will be negative 1 and the delta x from the denominator, then simplification, so we have negative 1 over x squared. The derivative as a rate of change. The derivative is presented either as value of a slope or a slope indicator of the line tangent to a curve at any given point. The slope relates the quantities x and y and shows whether these quantities have a positive or negative relationship. The derivative as an expression that relates how the quantity of y equals f of x behaves as the quantity of x changes. Thus, the derivative may be used to show how the relationship between variables and how they change relative to each other. The rate of change occurring between variables. Let's answer. Find the average rate of change in f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 1 when x changes from x equals 2 to x equals 5. Let x sub 1 equals 2 and x sub 2 equals 5, and then evaluate f of x sub 1 equals f of 2 and f of x sub 2 equals f of 5 as follows. So f of 2 is equal to 2 cubed plus 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 1 equals 9, and f of 5 is equal to 5 cubed plus 2 times 5 squared minus 4 times 5 plus 1 equals 156. For solving the average rate of change, we have our average is equals to 156 minus 9 over 5 minus 2 equals 49. Differentiability implies continuity if f is differentiable at a number x equals c, then f is continuous at x equals c. Let y be equal to f of x. The instantaneous rate of change in y with respect to x denoted by r instantaneous rate if change when x changes from x sub 1 to x sub 2 is given. Recall that a function f is continuous at x equals c if f of c is equal to f of x. Thus, to prove the previous theorem to show that f of x approaches f of c as x approaches the value of c, which implies the difference between f of x and f of c approaches 0 when x approaches c. Therefore, f is continuous at x equals c. An object is thrown upward from the top of a 45 feet high building with an initial velocity of 12 feet per second. Find the average rate of change in the distance covered by the object 2 seconds from the time it was thrown. Use g equals negative 32 feet per second squared. Given that g is equal to negative 32 feet per second squared, v sub o is equal to 12 feet per second. y sub o is equal to 45 feet and t is equal to 2 seconds. Substituting these values into the free falling distance function, we have y equals to 1 half negative 32t plus 12t plus 45 and y equals 16t squared plus 12t plus 45. So our r average rate of change is equal to 5 minus 45 over 2 minus 2 equals 20 feet per second. And that's all we have for today. 
Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode of Mythology 101.